today my video is uh, about low pressure switch uh, how to set low pressure switch as a thermostat so we use low pressure switch uh, for protection so it's a protection device and also we can use it as a thermostat switch so to set the uh, low pressure switch we need to know uh, some certain things like I have here a chart showing the application type of application and temperature range the temperature that we want to set and TD temperature and type of refrigerant also we need a PT chart or TP chart sometimes they call it uh, we're gonna use it also gauges because you don't want to rely on the low pressure switch uh, needle uh, pointer I don't know what you call it it's because sometimes it bend or it's not accurate sometimes so use your gauges better let's give you an example here I have uh, arc 22 as an example and I have application like I want a cool beverage so to cool beverage we need to set the temperature between 35 Fahrenheit and 38 and 1.6 celsius to 3.3 celsius and TD is 15 for this type of application and for R22 they cut out 41 and cut in 66 so you can just simply follow the chart and find out the cut out and cut in but I want to show you how to get those numbers in future they might change the type of refrigerant so if they change the type of refrigerant it's not maybe it's not exist exist here so how you gonna know how much or what the pressure is gonna be for cut out and cut in so now I will show you how to get those numbers for any type of refrigerant but you just need to know the type of application and temperature range and TD so those are should be the same but those it might change t uh, according to the type of refrigerant so now uh, we have uh, we want a cool beverage and we have 35 to 38 degree and R22 We're gonna find out the cut out pressure so we have a simple formula we can use which is box temperature minus or subtract uh, TD uh, equal to evaporator temperature or saturation temperature so the box temperature because we're gonna find out how to get we're gonna find out the cut out so the cut out means when we want the compressor to stop it's out of the circuit cut out we want a compressor to stop when temperature reach 35 degree we don't want to go lower than 35 degree so that means the box temperature is going to be 35 degree so we're going to apply 35 degree here and subtract 15 degree so the 15 here in the chart 15 degree this one we're going to get the 20 degree evaporator temperature or saturation temperature so now we get the evaporator temperature or saturation temperature this is temperature but this is gonna be coil temperature but we want to know the pressure because it's low pressure switch it's a pressure switch it it won't sense the temperature it doesn't know it just know the pressure 
just knows how to cut by pressure we're gonna convert this temperature by using the PT chart or TV chart we have here this is a PT chart we got 20 20 degree temperature and we have the R22 so we follow the temperature so this is temperature temperature uh, we got 20 temperature and also here R22 20 R22 we get 43 degree I know in the chart you're gonna say where we have uh, 41 and when we convert it we got 43 as I said uh, it's approximate so we get 3 degrees maybe different so it's not gonna be accurate 100% now we wanna get the cut in pressure to get cut in pressure we just simply apply or convert the cut in temperature which is 38 degree if we go to the chart uh, 38 36 is this 38 yeah 38 yeah here I don't know why I didn't see it so 38 degree and the R22 is 65.6 it's almost there so the chart is 66 uh that's a cutting pressure you're gonna ask maybe why we did apply the formula for the cut out and we didn't apply for the cut in i'm just gonna simply tell you uh, the system is all off so we don't need to use the that formula and you know saturation temperature and those stuff because there is no the system is off so no pressure I mean there is pressure but uh, I'm just gonna tell you simply the system is off and the box temperature is gonna be at that time same as evaporator temperature equal so the evaporator temperature is gonna be same as the box temperatures um i hope my video is useful and not confusing confusing and easy to understand um, thank you for watching